Welcome to this podcast is making me thirsty. The number one destination for Seinfeld fans. This is two up and two down. Today's episode is the Van Buren boy. How about we start with Chris this time? What is your favorite or your one of your ups for the episode? Okay. One up for this season eight Van Buren boys is the Steve Corrin scene. When him and George uh, are talking and he, he mumbles the chess player's name, always get a kick out of that. It, uh, you know, it, shows, it shows George's love for, um, you know, people fibbing and, and going the extra mile to get something done just like George. So uh, the Steve Corrin scene with George um, for the uh, scholarship. Excellent. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I like that one, too. How about you, Tony? What do you got for a one up? Sure. And uh, obviously a friend of the show there with uh, Curran, uh, Steve Curran. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, my one my one up for this episode is Peterman, Jay Peterman. Uh, just the place to flop. Where's my damn preview chat? I love that. You know, seeing Peterman out of his element, just flopping at home in the sweatpants. I love the where's my damn preview channel. You know, they Change the preview channel again. Classic line from all of us. Remember that preview channel. Whenever they change it, it was always frustrating, even to Peterman. So that's my uh, my first thumbs up is uh, Elena Peterman's house. The whole the whole scene there with Peterman. Yes, I love that that glimpse into Peterman and that he's just like a slob at, at home and uh, just has a routine apartment. So let's go down to uh, another one up for you, Chris. What do you got? So one up common theme, uh, Peterman, but I'm taking a different little twist on it. Um, I did like that dynamic a little bit with Elaine, but I, I prefer the Peterman Kramer dynamic, uh, the negotiation name, your price, man. That always gets me. Um, and Kramer just giving in and kind of him like golfing, uh, putting in his office, Th- that whole dynamic, uh, really enjoyed. So thumbs up to Peterman and Kramer. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Peterman was great this whole episode. So was Kramer's storyline. So uh, I definitely agree with that. Tony, how about you now? Your second one up. Ruining the very pants I was returning. Yep, that was a classic. Uh, no, my other my other up is is also Kramer, but it's more around. I just think Kramer stole this entire episode. I think it was Kramer telling his original story off the bat. You know, it's not his greatest story, but it's it's got enough there. You know, it's not the uh, I punch Mickey Mantle. It's not the pinky toe, but it's a solid Kramer telling the story. Occupied when he does that, the old uh, had to had to sign up. So just really Kramer Kramer storytelling is my uh, my second up. Great, uh, I agree with that as well. So we got the two ups out of the way. How about uh, Chris? Back to you for a one down. So one down for the Van B boys is just Jerry's storyline in general. Uh, you know, Jerry rarely misses, but this similar, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, Ben Stiller's wife was his girlfriend. You know, it, it just, it ran its course. It was just a little too much. He brought the, you know, it was a weak way to bring the, uh, not the Sanders, to bring the Seinfelds back in. Um, it did not feel organic. It felt forced. So. Jerry's storyline. I I agree. I I don't think Christine Taylor is a loser in this uh, episode, (laughs) but uh, yeah, I agree. The storyline with that kind of weak. Uh, Tony, any uh, thoughts on that? Or do you have another one down of your own? Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I I completely agree with O'Hara on that one, but I'm not going to use that as my, as my thumb down, my thumbs down on this one. it, it to me might be top five worst scenes of the entire series is Whoa. is George and Kramer talking about Jerry and Bloomingdale's program and they shut the door and they're talking like they're his parents. God awful scene, one of the worst. It's a disgrace <laughs> to George and Kramer and Jerry for that matter. It's just horrible, horrible scene. It, it, nothing to do with anything of any other part of the show. It just they just throw this in there where George and Kramer have this plan for Jerry. I, I've always hated it and will never like it. That's an interesting point because two episodes prior to that, you have the money in which uh, Jerry buys his dad a Cadillac. So he's as- he's actually doing well at this point when they bring that up. So I don't know if this is a continuity thing uh, with the show, but uh, I like that point too. How about you, Chris? You're, uh, you're, you're one down. Yeah. To just piggyback on that. Welcome to season eight. So, my final down for the Van B boys has to do with the Van B boys. Twice they gang they ganged up on George. 
uh, twice. First off, how did he get away the first time? And then the second time was just more ludicrous. Him, like, you know, trying to stick up the Seinfelds. Again, cartoonish at a, at a level I can't even describe. So the Van B boys twice ganging up on George. Not once, but twice is my number two down. I get you. I agree with that. I mean, George could easily have gone to the cops and get these guys off his back. But anyway, <laughs> uh, Tony, your second one down. Sure. Uh, second down on this one is is the opening scene. In fact, I I, I don't even remember ever seeing uh, this scene. is is so bad. It's it's <laughs> gross. It's just it's so forced. And 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 uh, Echo Hara, welcome to season eight. And and the opening scenes just get worse and worse as the season goes on. This is a horrible opening scene with the president names and George makes up a president's name. It's just can you do something better with the first thirty seconds of the show, please? Uh, it's just bad, real bad. Absolutely. I didn't even realize uh, that this scene was even uh, aired or, or cut because it wasn't until recently I saw it on Netflix and I was like, really? This is part of the show? All right. So, uh, Chris, we'll bring it back to you. How about your final grade for the Van Buren Boys episode? Final grade for the Van Buren Boys is a D plus. Uh, again, I think it's a fair grade. Season eight. And I think uh, Tony's point about Kramer... Uh, Helped it out a little bit. So D plus. Okay. Uh, Tony, over to you. All right. Well, this is one time we actually, I'm, I'm a little lower on this one. I was going back and forth in the, in the D range. Uh, I'm landing at a solid D, just a straight up D, uh, a 66, 65, somewhere around there on the score. Uh, solid D. I mean, it can't get much. It ain't making a C minus. We'll put it that way. So I landed at a D. All right, looks like you guys are on the same page on this one. So thank you, guys. That's two up, that's two down. On to the next one.